All right, so here we are at the table. I wanted to do a close-up so you could see this Summit Pro low deflection shaft. Um, it's a very good shaft. I'm really surprised. I played with it for a few days so far. Um, hopefully you can see that. It comes with a Kamui clear soft tip standard. It has an ecstasy ferrule, XTC. And then, as you can see on here, it has a maple outer core and a ultralight tech core. And what that is, is the tenon where the ferrule attaches to, they use a, diff a different material. So the lighter they can make the end of the tip of the shaft, the lower the deflection. So everybody has the different combinations of, you know, what they're coming out with. So this shaft is available in all different, um, I should say the most popular um, pin configuration. So whether you have a 516, uh, 518, you know, and so forth, a unilock, uh, radial, they make the shaft. The shaft, this one is 12.5 millimeters and they make an 11.75 millimeter in diameter on the shaft. It has a standard pro taper. All right, so let's take a few shots. I'll give you my thoughts. The soft tip, I really like. I mean, that's a plus. I mean, you're getting a $25 tip. Well, it's probably $23 tip, actually. It's a Kamui Clear Original. All right, so it has a nice fit at the joint. So again, you know, there's a lot of high-end shafts out there. Especially nowadays, everybody wants low deflection, super low deflection. You know, my opinion, unless you're, unless you're in the pro category, you don't need to spend $500 on a shaft. I mean, people do, but again, that's your preference, you know. And yes, I've had people comment, oh, you take easy shots in the videos. The videos aren't, you know, these product review videos are not to show fancy shots. It's just actually to just take shots and you want to feel how it plays. You know, again, the tip in regards to the ferrule and the shaft and the joint, you know, how it transfers the energy, whether I feel a vibration in the butt of the cue. These are all things that I look for, you know, when I'm checking out a cue or a shaft. So, I'm gonna set something up and we could check out the actual, um, deflection. So what I want to do is I know I've seen quite a few people where they put a ruler up here. I'm going to simplify things to where it'd be easier for everybody to see. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to, again, it's a seven foot table, so you're going to have less deflection because the cue ball has less to travel versus if I was on an eight or nine foot table. All right, so my cue ball straight on the, the opposite end of the table. I'm lined up with that three ball. I'm gonna use th two and a half to three tips of right hand English. And I'm gonna hit it quite hard. So let me chalk up first. Now, I've been using this blue diamond chalk by Lagoni. Uh, it's Designed in Italy, made in the USA. I've been hearing great, great things about it. So I invested a few dollars and bought some, a few cases. If you're interested, it's available on my website. I sell it cheaper than anybody on the internet. So again, here's the shot. Two and a half tips, right hand English. That had just about zero deflection. So I'm gonna set it up again. I'm gonna try going even a little bit further. See if I can get to three tips outside. And that's basically a miscue when I get all the way out here, but this is where I'm aiming for. All right, I know the angle that the camera's on. It looks like the cue in the three ball and not in a straight line, but trust me, they are. I just can't get the camera behind me when I'm shooting. That was dead on. So on a seven foot table, this shaft is showing me that it has 
zero deflection. Now I'm not saying that that's the way it's going to be on a nine foot table. Because again, the cue ball has more distance to travel. Now, just to show you that I am hitting it with, you know, extreme outside English, right hand English. Watch the cue ball when it comes off the rail. You could see my rebound angle was all the way out here. So I'm putting that right hand spin on there, right hand English. I'm using that three ball dead center because it's a much greater uh, visual. It's definitely much easier for everybody to see. I'll try to get a little bit better close up. All right, so I'm all chalked up. Two and a half tips, right hand English. Now, might have been a quarter of an inch that the cue ball hit the three ball towards the right hand side. Again, might have been a quarter of an inch. All right, so let me chalk up again. All right, so I'm nice and lined up. My three balls dead straight with the cue ball. And again, I'm gonna use extreme right hand English and see where I'm hitting on that three ball. You can see how much spin is on that cue ball. And I hit that traveling seven feet. I hit that three dead center. All right, so from what I could say so far, for the price point, you can't beat the summit shaft. Uh, I think the actual retail is about 170, but everybody's selling them for about $135. You could get them on my website as well for 130. And it, again, like I said, I have all different pin configurations depending. So I got this one from my Balabushka queue. So, and it fits great. I'm very impressed with it. The Kamui Clear Soft, um, you know, soft tip, uh, it, it's a decent soft tip. Some people swear by Kamui, you know, nothing wrong with them. It, it all depends on what your preference is. So, if you're looking for a low deflection shaft that won't break the bank, this is definitely the shaft for, for you. Again, this one is 12.5 millimeter and they make it at 11.75. So again, those are all personal preferences. So me, I love the 12.5 millimeter and it looks real good on, on this cue. So if you're interested, got any questions, please feel free to get a hold of me.